Hey guys, quick little tech tutorial for you today. This one comes from a message that I got on Facebook from Claudia Keo, who wanted to know how she could embed some PowerPoints in her Canvas page so that uh, when students were absent, they can go to this page and find out what happened during the day that they were gone. And it is not the easiest thing to do in Canvas, so you, like it's not how you think you would do it. You think you would be able to just create a page and then upload the file, but that just uploads a link to the file, and I don't think that's what she was looking for. And then the other thing that she asked was she wanted to know if there was a way to inform parents and students about upcoming quizzes and tests and assignments and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how to get parents all signed up so that they can get notified as well. All right, let's jump right in here. All right, Claudia, this one's for you. This is how you embed a PowerPoint presentation into your Canvas page. And for your purposes, this is for um, students that have missed a day and they want to s you want to show them what they missed. But it can be used for any kind of presentation that you want to show um, inside of your Canvas. So, like I said, what the way that you think you would do this is to go to Pages and then click on um, View All Pages in the top left there. And you would create a page like this one I created. What did I miss? And you would upload a PowerPoint. Let's see, hold on. That no longer exists. So let's go up here to the top right and click on Files. Upload a new file. Find the file we're talking about. And then upload it. So this uploads the PowerPoint file that would t your kids would have to click on it and it would download and then they'd have to open it up again in order to view it. But I don't think that's exactly what you were looking for. So I'm going to, I'll just save this for now. I'm going to show you another way so that they don't have to do that. What you're going to go over, what you're going to do is go over to modules on the left hand side click on modules and then you're going to create a new module with the top right blue button right blue plus sign we're going to name it um, I'm going to name this one Claudia Claudia's missed work all right and then just click add module and it creates the module here. Now modules are units of study, so if you had some things they wanted to read and then take a quiz, um, you know, you would work through this module. That's what um, that's what a module is. So we're gonna make a module. We're gonna call it Claudia's Miss Work. We're gonna go over here to the plus sign within the Claudia's Miss Work. Click on that, and you can see that it defaults to assignments but we don't want to add assignment, we want to add a file. And over here, we go over to Claudia KO PowerPoint. That's your um, homework file or your missed PowerPoint presentation that you were talking about earlier. And you click Add Item. And there you see it. You see that it has the blue, it's published. This module's not published, so we want to click Publish. And now when the students go here, we got to make sure that the module navigation button on the left hand side is activated. So we're going to go over here to the left hand side, click on settings. And under navigation, um, this might be down here because you might not have had that activated yet. So you're going to want to either click on the gearbox right here and say move or click on the arrow and say um, enable or you can just click it and drag it up to the top and now you see it's there right however don't forget you have to click save otherwise it won't save that all right so now we have a home button announcements assignments discussions and modules and to double check that we're going to go over here to the student view on the top 
right hand side click on that and you see modules here on the left hand side so this is what the students see when they log in click on modules you see your PowerPoint right there just click on that so you would name that the day that they missed or you know whatever and then um, what canvas is going to do at this point instead of downloading the file like it would have been if you just put the link inside a page it's gonna open up the file and now they can see, view it within canvas so this is I think what you were looking for in your um, when you asked me that question yeah if not just message me again I'll redo this thing so what you're gonna do every day is you're just gonna click on this plus button you're gonna go over here to file and you're gonna find the file um, modules does not oh yeah actually that, that does actually click right here new file choose your file find your little PowerPoint that you're talking about and then um, add the item okay so under this heading would be your homework and then or you know the daily days assignments you can call it and then every single day you would just add another component to this module and that's how kids would check their um, for for missed work okay does that make sense hopefully it does now let's talk about parents being able to log in go over here to account let's log out for a second okay all right the login page right here if you look on the top right says parent of a canvas user that's what your parents are gonna click on and they're gonna have to um, know what their child's login information is and then they're gonna fill in their own name their own email fill in their child's login information and then um, what it does is it puts them inside your class and it um, allows them to see all of the work that their kid does in canvas and with that any assignments that you make make sure that you're putting a date you're associating each assignment or quiz or anything like that with a date and automatically that will add to your calendar so that when you log in or they log in on the right hand side it's going to tell them what's coming up okay right hand side so you just have to train your parents to look at the top right hand side where it says coming up and it will say hey there's a quiz coming up on Friday and then they can look at the uh, calendar by clicking on view calendar and it will show any kind of dates that are on the calendar so if you have um, a test coming up it'll show up right there for them and they can also go into their account in top right hand corner and activate email um, updates so if something's coming due or there's a test coming up it will email them as well so they just have to update their account settings for that I think actually when they first sign up the default is that it will email them but um, if they're not getting it tell them to navigate to their account and then just click on receive emails that's it super simple right there's not a lot for you to do on your end other than when you're making your quiz or you're making your assignment that you associate a due date with it or uh, you know a start date end date and then it'll show up in the in the calendar and the, also the notifications all right so there you go you have to use modules if you want to check out if you want to embed a PowerPoint in canvas so that it can be viewed within the uh, the platform and um, if you when you want parents to get notified about things they have to sign up for a parent account and parent account is pretty cool because it will at least in my district I'm sure that it's the same in yours that then once they sign up for that account it will follow them from year to year and year um, they don't have to sign up again and again so 
they just sign up for a parent account it follows their student so that when they log in they can view what their student is up to in canvas and you don't have to worry about them seeing anybody else's work it's a cool little thing all right thanks for watching i will talk to you soon